Hey everyone, Stephanie Denman here from the Denman Homestead. And today I'm starting a new project. Yes. Um, I had a thought that occurred to me and it was like a memory that I was like, I need to remember this. But then I forgot and then it came back to me recently. So, when Buddy and I took the kids on one of these previous trips, uh, not too long ago, we were passing through some small towns. And one of the towns had, at their city hall, um, one of those fire danger signs posted. And it's one of those that has like the colors and there's like a little like low, medium, moderate, extreme danger, fire danger. And I was thinking like, everything is so dry and hot. We've not had any rain that I know. And we've had like burn ban signs like kind of sporadically around. But I thought it would be kind of a cool idea to make one of those signs or even, well, first I said, how much is it to just buy one and donate it to our city hall? Just so it's displayed where more people can see and like a reminder of how dangerous it is to burn right now or like the excessive heat and I looked them up and a double sided sign was about a thousand dollars a single sided sign was like 650 or something like that um, and I was like I can make that I feel like I can make it and so I'm gonna go to the hardware store and see if I can get the stuff to make it. So come along with me with this project. Oh, by the way, I also reached out to our mayor and I talked to her and told her my idea. And she was like, absolutely, that sounds great. And she was like, in fact, we have another area by the fire, right by our volunteer fire station that would probably be better because it's a higher trafficked area than by City Hall. So she was like, they might actually want to put it there and then the fire department can manage the like fire date, like the extreme fire danger sign, which I thought was a good idea too. But she said either way, like make it and we will display it for added extra protection. So yeah, let's do that. I thought that would be a really cool project and a neat donation item and um, let's go to the hardware store. All right, friends, we're here. So, go out, run inside because it's hot, and get what I need. Let's go. So, there's no price on this down here, but I'm pretty sure it's what I need. It's like four by four by eight. And I didn't bring my toolbox with me because it's in my car, and I was driving Buddy's truck, and he doesn't have a tape measure in his truck. I need to get him one. Actually, look what I just spotted. Someone someone had the right idea. Let me show you. Okay, so now I'm going to need to get some treated plywood. This one's thicker and I think going to work, but it's a lot more material than I need. And they don't have the material I need in smaller, well, they have it in smaller sections, but it's too small. I'm gonna have to get this giant one and just cut it down. I'm gonna need help. Okay. I actually got them to help me cut it to size of what I needed. So that worked out perfectly. And now I'm looking for the paint that I need. Okay, I'm back in the car. Oh, it's hot. Um, I have to show you something kind of funny. So the paint person, the person at the paint, the counter, I told her I needed like all these colors for, well, I didn't tell her for what, but it was like bright colors. And she was super... When I got the little paint cans back, um, let me just show you what she did. <laughs> Isn't 
that cute? She like drew little things on them. I thought it was adorable. But then I brought her another paint can and I was like, okay, I need this one. Um, I need a gallon of this because it's going to be the base coat for the entire thing. This is what she gave me. Now you tell me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got a yellow sun, some red cherries, a green tree, a blue raindrop. What is that? What do you think that is? I think she had a sense of humor. I'm gonna go home, unload all this stuff, and I don't know if I'm gonna start it today because it's getting late, kind of-ish, and hot, and I need a break. We'll see, maybe when it cools down. Let's just go home. All right, y'all. My vision is starting to kind of take shape. But I don't know if you noticed a difference in four by four length there. Listen, it was a good test to make sure that it didn't break in the next windstorm, okay? Oh, you mean this one that I bought earlier? That yeah. was perfectly fine. Yeah. Oh, what happened? What happened to it? I literally picked it up out of the back of the truck, threw it on the ground, and it snapped in half. Uh -oh. So that's the quality of 4x4 that you purchased, okay? <laughs> I don't blame him. I'm glad that he caught that break, that weak board early. But yeah, I had an extra 4x4. I was hoping it was long enough. It's not. So I'm going to go back to Lowe's before they close, return, or hopefully they'll take this one back because it was already weak and broke. Um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you, give you a little bit of an update on what it's looking like or what it's going to kind of look like. But I'm going to assemble it, for the most part, and then I'm going to paint it all brown. And then I'm going to paint everything else. It's going to be cool. You know what? You like it? Yeah. I need to do a little bit of research. Well, Buddy's going to help me on, on some assembly stuff, but... Uh, get crafty. Yeah, i got to get crafty. I'm thinking duct tape. No. I could get some paracord, could go find some auger lilies, and get this thing fixed up. Mm, mm -hmm. So anyway, I'll be the general contractor on this project. I'll be a um, supervi supervisor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll allow it. Alright, headed back. Okay, I want to ask your opinion on something. Okay. So, the sign is supposed to be like drilled through the 4x4, four four and this goes in the middle of it. Yeah. But I'm thinking, here comes Pops. A pop? No idea. So the one-sided sign design actually takes this post What's up, in the homestead? Hello. What's up, Daniel Morrow and Lou Morrow Outdoors? What are y'all doing? You want to give sign. me your uh, opinion on something? The way it's designed is when you buy these, they're a thousand bucks. And I was like, I can make one. Put some hinges on that bottom part? No. Oh. Uh, you're supposed to attach it this way through the 4x4, four four, but I was thinking I could remove the roof and slide it in so it has more of a, uh, like a, uh, more, more security. Like I could router this and it slide it in down okay. and then screw it in from. The Why mid. though? Why don't you use some L brackets? Some heavy duty L brackets. 
like metal L brackets. Yeah. I could do that. That'll be a whole lot less work to try to router that out straight and even and then like slide good. And so plus, how are you going to keep, what are you going to put screws to, to also? Because your poles, I think your poles will be wobbly like that and let you really brace them good. I think with some L brackets, you'd be fine. L bracket piece to the, to the post? Yeah. So you put it in the middle where you want it and get you like a little one inch by one inch L bracket. Yeah, so then if I was going to do that, I would put like an L bracket on this side, top and bottom, an L bracket on the other side, top and bottom. You know, all, alternate. Yeah. I think it'd be pretty sturdy if you did that. But if you want a router, definitely you could router. Well, I would rather. But that's not. a lot of work. Yeah. It's a lot of work. I'm going to donate a uh, fire hazard um, sign, like moderate, extreme, low fire danger. Oh, you know, have you seen those with the little wheel, the color hey. wheel, where they can. You've never seen those? Yeah, Nope, that's cute. You're going to donate it. Did you still need the router? Daniel gave me a better idea. I'm just going to do some L brackets to hold the thing to the Okay, we've had a little bit of a change in plans. So, Daniel came by because I was asking him his opinion on routering versus drilling straight through versus all the stuff, the setup. I could just lay the board flat on the 4x4s and drill straight into the 4x4, but one side then is going to lose four inches on each side of the sign. So I want both sides of the sign to be equally visible. And so Daniel's idea was like, why don't you why don't you find some why don't you put L brackets just here, you know, center it on the four by four and L bracket it on each side. And I said that's a good idea. Um, and it's a lot less work than routering it all and doing all that kind of stuff. But uh I was just, we don't have a whole lot of L brackets just laying around, but we, what I did find were, were these. And I honestly cannot remember where these came from. Um, this is just a part of being a hoarder. But they slide down into this groove. And it might work out really well because if for whatever reason they need to pop this sign out and paint it or work on it or whatever, they don't have to dig it up out of the ground. They can just pull the whole sign off of the post if, if they wanted to. But, uh, so the, the thought process is you screw this bracket to the 4x4 four four here on the edge. This will go on this board here and then it'll slide down in that groove. That's the hope. So let's see if we can get that done. Ladies who like to build things, I have a tip for you. I suggest that you get your own toolbox and your own tools, like a little handheld one, and keep it in the back of your trunk because then you will always know where your tools are. and assemble it, and if it works, I'll uh, secure it better. screws. I'm awesome. Okay. So what I've done is I went ahead and put the bracket in and uh, gonna line it up on the board. Just screw the board in with the uh, bracket already in place. So I'll know where it goes when it slides in. And then I'll measure it on the other side and do the same. It's 
看。guys. All right, let's, woo, a little lightheaded. See if we can't uh, stand this puppy up. Actually, hmm, might be able to use my wood pile as a brace. Let me see. It's gonna be heavy. No, no it doesn't look like much, but it's heavy. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna go get Buddy. I'm not trying to throw my back out. thing is you'll be able to put the post in the ground and then just slide the Maybe, because I had to hammer this in there. Yeah, one of them out of the four was sticky. Can we just stand it up so I can see what it looks like? Okay. Oh my god, why am I so weak today? Oh yeah. Hold it. Keep in mind that like two feet of this is going to be in the ground. Yeah. And then this will be on a chain. We could just do okay, so I'm going to go ahead and paint this and I'm going to paint the rider separately. And then I'm going to have to go to the store and get some more hardware because we've changed up, again, uh, the design where we're going to hang the rider from some things. Uh, so, probably be a good idea to go ahead and paint it, let it dry while I'm gone, and then come back and assemble some stuff. Let's do that. Okay, I took a little bit of a break because I had to run to the store and get some stuff, and I'm back, and it's around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and 103 degrees outside, so I'm in the shade, and Buddy is setting me up with a little fan outside, but I'm going to try to get this painted, and then maybe go inside and cool off for a little bit, and then come back out in the afternoon and work on it a little bit more.